What's going on everyone? Bear here from Steel Series, and in this video, we're gonna take a deep dive into our Sonar software. We're gonna go over everything from how it works and how to set it up on your PC. So let's dive right in. So to get started, let's talk about the differences between our engine software and Sonar. We've noticed that some questions have been popping up about their differences, and while both are found in the GG app, engine is gonna be geared for more on the go or console gaming allowing you to save changes to your device for whether you're using it on your phone or your console. While on the other hand, Sonar is going to be geared towards giving you the best PC gaming audio experience. Not only allowing you to make those adjustments for your EQ settings for your gaming, chat, microphone, media, and aux, as well, it's going to enable you to use a handful of audio FX such as Spatial Audio, Smart Volume, and Volume Boost. Essentially, you're going to be given pro-grade audio tools to surgically tune the audio experience to fit your needs exactly. And even if you know nothing about audio and EQ settings, you're still able to enjoy the best audio experience with presets for your favorite games and apps. Now, the real exciting thing about Sonar is you don't actually need a SteelSeries headset to use the software. We wanted to put something out there for all gamers, no matter what your preference is. However, with that said, Sonar was tailored for our products in mind. So if you do have a SteelSeries headset, you're going to get a seamless experience with deep integration. But like I mentioned, it's not a necessity. If you don't have a SteelSeries headset, you're still able to take advantage of Sonar's capabilities. All right, so to get started on the setup, you're gonna to need to download our free app from our website called GG. Once you have that downloaded and opened, you'll get this prompt to activate moments in Sonar. Make sure you have Sonar selected and press let's go. And then from there, click the Sonar tab on the left-hand side of the hub. Now that you're in Sonar, you'll need to choose your game, chat, media, aux, and microphone sources. So for this setup, I'm gonna be using the Nova Pro wireless headset, as well as the Arena 9 speakers. Then for my game and chat sources, I'm going to be selecting headphones, Nova Pro Wireless. And then for media and aux, my output is going to be for the Arena 9 speakers. And then finally for my microphone, I'm going to select microphone Nova Pro Wireless. Now once you have everything selected, Sonar is going to configure these sections for you. And then once it's done, press game on at the bottom right. From here, you'll be brought to the main tab of Sonar called Mixer. You'll notice that you have sliders for each of the sources that we just set up. So you can independently adjust your game, your chat, your media, your aux, and your microphone from each other. You'll also notice a couple of additional sliders. One is called master. What this is going to allow you to do is adjust all of your volume outputs at the same time. So everything minus your microphone, but it also allows you to keep the same distance that you have set up between them. So for example, if you put your game at negative three and your chat at negative six and move the master slider, it's going to adjust both levels at the same time while still keeping the three point distance between them. And then at the bottom, you have your chat mix dial. So this is gonna allow you to make adjustments to your volume, whether you wanna hear your game more so than your chat or your chat over your game. Now, if you ever need to change any of your output sources or adjust their volumes, you have the ability to do that from this page. You can click on either the gear icon or the wording for the output device. And then under playback, you'll have all of your output options and then the levels right under that. Now, the last thing I wanna go over in the mixer tab is setting up your media and your aux outputs with your apps. And we're gonna use Spotify for this example. Go ahead and click the gear icon under the media section and select app to device routing. You'll get this window pop up for your app volume and device preferences. With your Spotify app open on your PC, you should be able to see Spotify music. Now, if you don't see this option, you'll need to play something within the Spotify app for your PC to recognize the source. Once you start playing music, it should show up under this section. Then under the default output settings, all you need to do is select SteelSeries Sonar Media. And now you'll be able to control your music volume separately from your game and chat audio. All right, once you have your volume set up, you can move over to the game tab. You'll have this pop-up show up right away, suggesting some custom game presets. For now, we're going to stick with default since you're able to make those changes later. And I want to be able to show you where to find them within that tab. Now, like I just mentioned, you're still able to use those presets, even though we've selected default. At the very top of the page under configurations, if you select that, you're going to get all of the same game presets that we just talked about. Now let's select Apex Legends as an example. You'll see that the EQ graph chart changes, and this is going to be your general starting point for setting up your EQ. Now you should notice that your EQ is separated into different sections from sub bass all the way to highs. However, if you're not familiar with how those pertain to your specific game that you're playing, we do have the option to change the labels under this arrow on the right hand side. Again, select the game that you're adjusting for, so in this case Apex, and it's going to change your labels from sub bass and highs to footsteps and knocks, allowing you to better understand what you're changing and what you're listening for. 
So there's going to be a few ways that you can adjust the EQ in each section. First, you can grab the colored dots and move them around. Moving left to right will adjust your frequency. Up and down will adjust the gain. And moving this bar will adjust the quality or the curve of that EQ. As well, you have the option to type in the settings manually here if you know the exact number you wish to be at. Or you can adjust each section with these sliders under the EQ chart. Now to keep track of the changes that you're making, we do have a playback button at the top right hand side here where you can test the sound in real time while moving the EQ around. There's also a few different ways to reset your EQ if you ever want to revert back to your previous settings. So if you're looking for a fresh start, click this three dotted line right here and press reset. That will reset the entire EQ chart. Now if you want to reset only one specific EQ, say for instance that you've deleted it or moved it too far to a specific point, you can always add it back in by left clicking in that section or reset the point by right clicking and select reset. Okay, so moving past the EQ graph, we have a spatial audio section for both your headphones and speakers. Put simply, it's meant to give you better awareness of your surroundings. Now there's a bar with performance and immersion. Moving the slider towards performance is going to be best for competitive FPS games like Call of Duty and Apex Legends, while moving the slider towards immersion will give you better surround sound for solo games like God of War and Elden Ring. As well, this secondary slider will virtually rearrange the distance of the speakers from you, giving you the feeling of the speakers either being right up on top of you or further away. And finally, we have our volume boost and smart volume sliders at the very bottom. So volume boost will boost the overall volume before processing, and smart volume will automatically keep the volume within range so it never gets too loud or inaudible. Now I definitely recommend using the test sound section to play back your audio and then tinker with different levels just so you can get a precise sound that you want for yourself. And then once you have all your levels figured out, you can move over to the chat tab. All right, so once you're in the chat tab, you're gonna have another pop-up to select a preset for your chat. And this is where you can adjust your party's audio and apps like Discord. We'll stick with default for now just so I can show you where the presets are located in your normal view. So you'll notice that we have almost an identical layout as we do in the game tab. The main difference being that you now have a row of sliders instead of the EQ band. We built in presets for you just like in the game tab and you can find that here under configurations. And again, this is gonna change how you hear your teammates within game chat. So whether you're using Discord or TeamSpeak, whatever it may be, these presets will give you a stepping stone to further adjust how you're hearing your team, whether that's in a recording or in your stream or just a casual night with your friends. Now, just like in the game tab, we do have a test sound section, but instead of game and spatial, we now have communication and communication plus noise. Now for communication, that's gonna change how you're hearing your teammates voice and whether you're putting a preset on it like balance or broadcast, while communication plus noise is gonna add in a special feature that we have in Sonar. So under your row of sliders, there's a tab here called Clearcast AI Noise Cancellation. And this is a brand new software that's going to be available to everyone that will allow you to make your teammates' voices crystal clear by removing any non-vocal sounds from their microphones. So anything like a fan or an air conditioner unit, noisy roommates, or a loud keyboard, the software will be able to detect this and keep it from being pushed out through their microphone. Now once activated, you can adjust the level of how much noise you want the software to cut out. So you can leave it on the lower end if they have something small like a fan in the background, and then raise it up further as you need. Now, if for some reason you decide that you don't want to use the ClearCast AI noise cancellation feature, we do have a standard noise reduction, which will help reduce any background noises that may be coming through, and a noise gate that'll cut off any sound up to a certain decibel. And finally, we have a compressor tab, and this will automatically keep your teammates' voice within a certain range, not allowing them to become inaudible if they're being too loud. Now, moving on to the media and the aux tabs, they're exactly the same, and they look very similar to the game tab. Now for the media and aux tabs, you're gonna have a preset pop up just like in the other ones. So if you know what you're looking for, feel free to select it. Or if you wanna change it later on, they're both found under configurations just like in every other tab. To the right of that, we have the test sound section just like in the previous tabs, which have movie sound, music sound, and virtual surround. Now the EQ graph is gonna work the exact same way it did in the game section. You're gonna be able to adjust everything individually, whether it's through the sliders at the bottom of the graph or by adjusting the colored dots within the graph itself. And then under the equalizer tab, we have spatial audio. It works the exact same way that it did in the game tab. It has a performance to immersion slider and as well a distance slider where you can virtually space out how far you want the speakers to be from you. And finally, we have a volume boost tab. Again, this is gonna boost the overall volume before processing as well as a smart volume tab, which will automatically keep volume at a range without getting too loud or too inaudible. And with that, we're onto our final tab for microphone. 
And this is going to adjust how you're heard through your microphone, whether it's through Discord, a recording, or your stream. Now, the setup is the exact same as the chat tab. You have all the same sections like the EQ sliders, ClearCast AI noise cancellation, noise reduction, noise gate, and compressor. But the main difference is that we've added a mic test section, so you're able to record yourself and then play that on a loop and make live adjustments to your microphone. We hope everyone's enjoying Sonar. If you have any additional questions, feel free to check out our FAQ page or our blog on our website. Happy gaming and for glory.